everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a dog video. But before we get started with today's video, I would like to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Pura Vortex. I have been sponsored by Pura Vortex before and they sent me an amazing air purifier and they contacted me recently and asked me if they could send me another one and I was ecstatic to get it and I am absolutely obsessed with it. So the air purifier that I'm going to be showing you guys today is the V3 HEPA air purifier. So this is a bigger air purifier which is meant for larger rooms. It refreshes the air two times an hour in a 430 square foot large room to refresh the room from airborne particles, smells, and odors. This air purifier will truly up your comfortable living in your living room, bedroom, family room, playroom, kitchen, or basement, and I am using it in my dining room here. The large room HEPA air purifier comes with auto mode, one, two, and three fan speeds, so you're able to customize the fan speed. When the auto mode is enabled, the smart air cleaner automatically adjusts fan speed based on real-time air quality reported by the sensor. The air quality is always in the know with the LED display, so it changes color to indicate whether the air is good, moderate, or poor. It has a four-stage filtration system with 99.97% of ultrafine particles gone. So it's really great for pollen, dust, pet dander, smoke, and more. And as many of you guys know, I have a lot of animals, so having it for pet dander is the most important thing for me. You get more air, less energy, and lower noise. You can go to sleep with peace of mind knowing that you'll wake up with a fresh room in the morning. My favorite thing about this air purifier is that you can change the color to the pre-filter cloth on the front of it. So I chose the green color because I am absolutely obsessed with the color green, but you can also change it to gray, and they include that in the package. Package. So you can choose between green or gray and you can change it out depending on what you like and you can even wash it So here's some of the settings you can put it in sleep mode You can also lock it to keep children and animals from changing the settings on the air purifier, which is a great setting There are the different speeds. There is a timer for the air purifier And I just think all these settings are so great as you can see here, you can also put it on auto mode. So I am really, really loving this air purifier. I definitely recommend it. I feel like it is priced so well for how big of a room it can purify. It is the sleekest and most beautiful air purifier that I personally own and I really like the way that it looks. So if you're wanting an air purifier that's a little bit more fancy looking, but still affordable, I really, really like this one and I definitely recommend it. So I am going to put a link for the air purifier down below if you guys are interested in checking it out for yourself. Thank you so much Pure Vortex for sponsoring this video and let's just get right into it. I don't do very many dog videos on this channel, mainly just because I feel like there's not really much dog content that you can really make, but I have been wanting to make a little like dog area in my house for my dogs because when I am not home or if I can't be like watching them, my dogs do get into a lot of stuff. Therefore they are crate trained. And I think personally crate training is a really great thing to do. Some people don't agree with crate training. It's worked really well with my dogs and the crates are like their safe space. But when I am gone for long periods of time, it would be really nice to have a little area where my dogs don't have to specifically be in their crates and they can, you know, run around a little bit, eat, drink, and it not be inside of their crate because I don't think that dogs should be able to eat or drink inside of their crate because then they could go to the bathroom and most dogs don't want to sleep where they go to the bathroom. So that's just kind of like what I agree with. I'm sorry that I look like a complete mess. I literally walked like seven miles yesterday and I am like so exhausted right now. And also the hum that you hear is from the fish tank beside me. Uh, I guess a little sneak peek to that. Haven't made that video yet because I haven't gotten the goldfish, but my fish tank is set up over here. I'm not going to be showing it, but it's here. But this week I'm actually planning on decorating my dining room because I have everything that I need to decorate my dining room and that video will be on my main channel. But I did want to make a dog area in this room where they can eat and everything and I figured might as well put it in here because I have a little space for them and I think it'll look really great in here. So I'm gonna show you what I bought and then we're just going to make the area. I'm hoping it comes out like I picture it. So first of all, from Amazon, I got this little mat to go underneath the water bowl. So it's just this like silicone mat that will go underneath the water bowl to help prevent, you know, water going into my floor. 
and it has a nice divot where it kind of makes like a little bowl, which is really nice. And there's like a little paw print in the corner. It had overnight shipping. You could pick, pick like literally any color. So I really liked that. Then from PetSmart, I did order some cute bowls because I honestly really like these bowls. So I got two of the ones that say eat for each of my dogs. So, so one will be for Mochi and one will be for Dobby. So when I feed them their new food that I got them, which I will show you that in this video too, they can eat it out of these nice fancy bowls because right now I'm just using like the stainless steel bowls so figured I'd upgrade it a little bit since they're getting an upgraded little play area and I also got one that says drink for the water they can just share a water bowl it's not too big of a deal I would like to get a fountain with purified water um, eventually but for right now I really wanted this because it matched really well. And I like that they all stack together really nicely too. It'll just be really easy to clean all of those. And then as you can see from the big ass box beside me, this thing literally comes up to my waist, it's huge. I have their little dog pin thing that I bought. I don't remember what brand, I think I got the Iris brand, I think it's what it's called, and which is the same brand of like some of my cool guinea pig carriers that I have. And they had this really nice like dog area that's made out of plastic, so it was pretty cheap. It was $80 for like a six paneled play pin, which I think is pretty good. So, and I also bought some beds. So I'm going to open this up, take everything out. Um, I'm a little sussed out because it does look like this box has been opened before it came to me. So I hope nothing is missing inside. All right, I just opened the box and I have these two cute beds here. So I think these are supposed to be for like, yeah, the inside of like certain sized crates and stuff. And this would definitely fit inside my dog's crate but I just got them because they were $5 each and I thought they were really cute. They do feel pretty cheap. I mean, they were cheap, so that's probably why it feels that way, but here's what they look like. Just really fluffy and you can also like hook them to the crate, which is pretty nice for dogs that like to pull their beds out of their crates. My dogs don't do that, but they are definitely dogs that do. I got some command hooks to hang up my dog's harnesses and leashes because I've been wanting to hang them up. So instead of like shoving them in a drawer that I have now, I can just take them off of the hook and then take my dogs out for a walk. Yeah, here are the two beds. And then back here is the playpen. So I don't really know how to build it yet. I know it comes with like panels and then you just hook all the panels together. You can buy more panels for it if you want to, but I bought the six paneled one. So let me just go ahead and show you where I plan on putting this area. All right, so here is the area that I plan on putting the dog area. So this is my dining room. As you can see, the fish tank is over here. What's, once again, I'm not going to be showing you, but there is nothing that I'm planning on putting in this area. So I figured it would be perfect for the dogs. Like I said, I am doing the dining room soon. So all of these boxes over here is just dining room decor and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this table yet I think I'm gonna use it to hold the air purifier that I'm gonna put over here but I'm not too sure yet so now that you know where I'm gonna go ahead and put it I'm just gonna go ahead and start building the playpen and then we'll start decorating the inside of it um, I also have a pet camera that I'm gonna put in it and an air purifier I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you Never said you felt that way Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your 
I have the new air purifier on like full blast right now so that may be the fan noise that you hear but I just kind of finished the area I mean it's not like the most amazing thing in the world I do wish it was a little bit bigger but if it was a little bit bigger then it would be too big for that space so I, I do think it's it's pretty nice the way that it is now I need to make my dogs their food for the day and I got some new dog food that a lot of you guys recommended. Not sponsored, obviously I bought this with my own money. I'm trying it out for myself. And um, it's the brand The Farmer's Dog. It's cooked food, so like they already have chefs that cook it for you and then they send it to you um, like, and you keep it in the freezer until you need to thaw it out. And then you can give it to your dogs. You don't even have to reheat it up if you don't want to. I'm probably gonna heat it up a little bit for them because it's cold. I don't think my dogs would wanna eat cold dog food. I know I probably wouldn't want to eat cold dog food. So they included this cute like refrigerated bag and like I said not sponsored but I actually really really enjoy the company so far so I'm hoping my dogs like the food but they basically asked me like a bunch of questions on like the dietary needs of my dogs do I think they need to lose weight blah 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 there's like a whole questionnaire and then they gave me what they recommend each of my dogs have a meal plan for so I got eight bags of dog food for like $35 for my first box, which is an amazing deal. I can make one box, eight bags last like about a month for me because I am still gonna mix it with their kibble. So I am very, very happy with the price of it so far. I mean, that was with a discount of being like a first time buyer, but um, I will put a referral link down below if you guys wanna check out the farmer's dog for yourself. Then you guys can get your first box discounted heavily like I did so you can try it. But Mochi and Dobby got the same meal plan. They got the chicken, beef, and I believe turkey recipes. And um, Dobby's bags were a little bit bigger than Mochi's because I put that Mochi is a little bit fatter than he should be. But since they're eating the same food, um, I'm just gonna share bags between both of my dogs and just use one bag at a time. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do and see if they like it. So I'm gonna try with the chicken recipe first. And it also came with like a whole like feeding assistant meal plan paper like explaining to you how you should transition your dogs over if you're transitioning to purely the cooked dog food which i'm not doing like i said i'm still mixing the kibble that i feed them so yeah let's just go ahead and try it so we're gonna do the chicken bag for right now um it says you give one fourth pack a day and i'm sharing it between two dogs so i can probably make this bag last about a week which will be really great for me and the rest of the bags are in the freezer and then i'm going to be mixing it with the hills food that i feed them i am not here asking for advice on dog food this is not me caring about any of that i like hills my vet recommends it i've done research on hills myself and i think it's a good food and my dogs do really well on it so i am sticking with that because it's the only kibble that my dogs do really well on i'm not asking for opinions on kibble i'm still going to use it no matter what you guys say but I did want to start mixing it with some type of cooked food variety. So yeah, I did research on the farmer's dog, seemed to be a really good company and I'm hoping it is. So let's go ahead and feed them. So I have their new food bowls here and they're microwave safe, which is amazing. I love that. So I can just heat up the dog food straight in these bowls and then just put a little bit of kibble in there and my dogs pretty much will eat anything. So I'm really hoping they like this. So let's go ahead and make some dog food. So you're normally going to have like a whole bag left over. So what they recommend doing is folding it over and putting it in these containers that they provide for you and then you put it back in the fridge until you use it again tomorrow. So I think that's really nice. They included two of them. So I just heated them up for 10 seconds. So they're still like a little cool. I think that's like the perfect amount. And I'm gonna take just a little scoop of their kibble and I'm going to mix it together. Honestly, it smells like butthole. Not a big fan of the smell of it, but it's not for me, so. All right, 
right guys, I have just finished the little play area and it's not the most amazing thing in the world, like I said. Pretty bare bones, but over time I'll probably get some more cute stuff or maybe little signs to hang from it because it looks like a little picket fence. For right now, I'm very, very happy with the way that it looks and the dogs are very happy with it too. They're actually both falling asleep in it right now, so let me show you. So here it is, as you can see. I really, really like it. I do feel like it is a pretty flimsy playpen, so if you have a dog that is very destructive, even like a small dog that is very destructive, they'd probably just drag this across the floor by like pushing it. So if you don't have a way to secure it down to the floor, I wouldn't recommend this for like a very destructive small dog. And I wouldn't even recommend this for a big dog because it's short. So it's perfect for my dogs because they're very calm. They don't, you know, get all fussy and like push the playpen around or anything like that. They're very well trained when it comes to stuff like this. So I have no issues with my dogs. Yeah, here it is. This is the six paneled one and I'll put a link for it down below. Um, it would have been nice to get the eight panel one, but I think it just would have been way too big for this space. So I am happy with what it looks like. Um, they're not going to have their crates anymore. This is just where they're going to sleep from now on at night because they have more room than their crate. And I feel like they would be a lot happier in here long term. So here is a little tour of their space. I just have them closed in here right now just to show you guys like what it looks like with them inside of it. But as you can see, they're both over here laying down until they heard one of the cats running around. Um, I have their like big beds washing in the washing machine. So once those come, I'll come put those in here. But I brought their Nyla bones in here, which they love. I actually covered the top bit of this to make them feel a little bit safer because when they sleep at night, I do cover their crates with a blanket. So I wanted to give them the same effect with this Tomi blanket from Junji Ito. I'm actually going to be hanging Tomi pictures above the fish tank here. So I feel like this is just the perfect blanket to hang on the top of it. I have their water bowl over here with the mat that's been working well. And then I have the pet camera here, which those treats to them. I have their food bowls over here. I'm just going to keep them here after I wash them every day, just so I know where they are. And then the beautiful air purifier from Pure Vortex that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love it so much. It's so sleek, it's so pretty. I'm just really vibing with it and it also, this whole area is by the outdoor window which I think is really nice and can't forget my little spooky ghost LED light that I hung up there because I have been trying to find a place for it and I feel like it fits well there. And then I use these command hooks to hang up their leashes and their harnesses for when I take them on a walk. So I feel like this was a perfect place for them. So as you can see review wise, you can see that this is pretty wobbly here. And I like zip tied the corners to try to make it less wobbly, but it's because this playpen is mainly supposed to be in a circle and I put it in a rectangle. So it is a little wobbly that way, but it hasn't been too big of a deal. So like I said, if you have a very destructive dog, I don't think that this would be good for you. But the doors open right here. We'll see if the dogs will come out and demonstrate. Probably not, but they just open like this. So during the day, I'll just keep the doors open. They can come in here as they please. And at night when I want to go to bed, I'll close it up. I can watch them when I'm not home on this amazing pet camera. I can talk to them through the pet camera. I can throw treats to them. I'm very, very happy with this. I'm like literally swimming in boxes now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was really short and it wasn't like the most exciting thing in the world. I asked on Instagram if you guys would like to see this video and about 98% of you said yes. So I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Maybe it can give you guys an idea of a space that you can make for your dogs when you're not home. I normally am home like 24 seven, but lately I have been wanting to go out and do more things, um, kind of get out of my comfort zone a bit. And there are some days where I'm gone like five or six hours and I don't want them to be in their crates the entire time. So I feel like this is a perfect alternative where they're still safe, where they can't eat stuff in my house, get into things that they're not supposed to get into and they'll be safe in there and I can watch them and it'll be really good for my anxiety. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just really like it. So I hope you guys do too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my Patreon down below if you like early access videos videos and content. And then also my social medias are down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.